webinar in the exclusive webinar series with, that we have with Expatrio. And I would like to welcome you all. Uh, let us know from which cities you're joining in from, because of course that is always a very nice, um, uh, what do I say, like data for us to see like, you know, what kind of like places you are from and what are your plans right now. How many of you have already applied for the Blockticon and stuff? So tell us about, a bit about uh, these things in the live chat. And meanwhile, I welcome Dom. Dom, welcome to another webinar and exclusive webinar series. How are you doing? Hi, Bharat. Uh, hi, everyone. Yeah, I'm great. Um, hello from Berlin. Thanks for the invitation. Perfect. So, Dom, how about we start by um, talking a bit but about the value package from Expatrio? Because, of course, in our community, a lot of people like know about it. A lot of people avail it. Um, but like, you know, give us some kind of idea about it and um, show us like how do you apply for it and then we move further. Sure. Um, quickly, I will start um, just um, to share some information about Expatria, why we uh, why we do this, what we are doing. Um, so the founder team studied abroad um, and uh, we had to deal with all these issues everyone uh, who will come to Germany also needs to deal with. And um, then we said, okay, there must be a way to inform people who will come to Germany uh, to make their uh, life a bit easier. And this is why we started in 2017 um, with Expatria. What we're doing is, um, the, the motivation is relocation made easy. Um, and for that, we created a relocation platform for yeah, international students, for expatriates wishing to live in Germany. We offer all-inclusive service uh, to minimize the bureaucracy uh, people need to face when come to Germany. Um, many of your videos you you uh, told about this. Um, what, yeah, things can happen on the way to Germany, and uh, we are we are a partner for this. Uh, that everything is is working really smooth. Um, we have a customized digital solution uh, which enables to open so-called blocked account and also uh, the health insurance. And those two things are super important to get your visa in Germany. Um, and of course, we are um, approved by the Federal Foreign Office here in Germany. So if you check the page, you will see us, you can fully trust uh, in the service we are offering. Um, and the good thing is you already can apply from abroad. So sitting at home in India or wherever you are currently, you can apply for our service and we will help you. Perfect. So that sounds really good. I'm also going to then quickly show them the screen because I think it is very important that you see like that expatri is also like listed on the Austria Tegasant website and um, that like you know you it is recognized and you can apply for it and most of the times the service that expatri provide it is one of the best um, and you can get the confirmation like anywhere from like you know sometimes one day we have had experiences like that too to you know like uh, three working days five working days and so on so like of course it depends if you go with the Payment uh, pla payment option that Expatrio provi provides, uh, Quad Go. I think like that is a lot faster, right, Tom? Exactly. So um, you want to show the page, or should I quickly share my screen? So I just um, showed. All right, you can show it. Yeah, now it looks better. So then we'll quickly show the screen and. This is if you take a look to the official uh, page of the Federal Foreign Office. It's in German, but of course all this uh, information are available in English. Uh, and here you can see it's Expatrio. And if you click the button, you are already on our homepage um, where you can apply for all the necessary information and products like the, the blocked account, the health insurance. And as a benefit for everyone, we also um, help you to open a value package where you not only have the blocked account included, not only the health insurance, also an incoming insurance and other uh, free benefits. And if it's okay for you, Bart, I would quickly show how too easy uh, how easy it is to apply for for the value package. Yeah. Yeah. So you will click the value package here. Uh, don't, then, somehow I think we cannot see the screen. Um, you can't see? No. Yeah, now it's working. Perfect. Ah, okay, perfect. Yeah. So um, you will you will uh, click on the value package, and then the first question we will ask you is, what will you be doing in Germany? Um, so this is necessary to figure out if you're a student for bachelor or master, 
or maybe you're a language student because then um, the products you need to come to Germany are a bit different. Um, so there is a logic behind uh, to offer tailor-made service for you. Uh, let's say you will be university master student, you click on uh, I agree and next. And then we will ask you um, about your age. Um, if you are between 18 to 23, um, the premium for the public health insurance you need for the uh, university is a bit less. If you are between 23 and 30, you have to pay a bit more. Um, we're talking about 103 up to 105 euro per month. Um, and if you are above this age, um, there's also, um, or it's also necessary that you will be a insured here in Germany. Uh, for this, we are working with Dr. Walter because you won't be able to go to the uh, to the public health insurance. Um, but let's say most of you are between 23 and 30, so click next. We have to ask you for uh, if you're having a child because this also affects the uh, pricing uh, for the uh, public health insurance. And the good thing is if you should have a child, you can co-insure them here in Germany. So you do not have to pay additional uh, funds for the, for the, ch for the child. Um, and that's it, basically. Um, we can already start calculating the blocked amount. Um, as I know, in India currently, we have this uh, discussion, do we have to block 861 euro, 863 euro? To be on the safe side, just change it here. Yeah. So we are talking about uh, 2 euros per month, um, but uh, this would be really annoying if you can't apply for the visa uh, because of missing 24, uh, 24 euro. So change it super easy. Mm. And if you also should have, let's say, a scholarship, you can also change it here. Um, we are offering this uh, tailor-made block demand, what you really need per month. Um, also, we can change the duration of stay. If you're just coming for six months and you need six months for your visa, you can easily change it here. And this would directly affect the total amount. We don't do it now because I will uh, later show you how to activate everything. This is just to show you how easy you can apply for it. Uh, what you will see at the end, um, you need to transfer uh, 10,356 euro plus a count buffer of 100 uh, euro. This is just for uh, FX uh, changes. Uh, so if you have to pay any fees or whatever from your bank, we will make sure that you um, yeah, transfer enough money to activate your account. And what you also can see, there's a service fee of 60 euro. 60 euro, that's 5 euro per month. Our um, our uh, account fees, and as a little first gift, you do not have to pay the initial setup fee of 49 euro, so we mm. uh, don't count it here, which means you do not have to transfer. At least, you can see, you will transfer 10,565 euro, 863 you will receive on a monthly base. Um, once you're activated your account, this is exactly this 10,356, and if you do not touch the buffer, you will receive 100 euro, or the rest of the buffer depends how much uh, is still left uh, with the last payment. Mm. As already mentioned, we are uh, approved by the Federal Foreign Office. This you can see here again, and then you just have to apply. Click next, mm. and then you can see an overview. Uh, you will receive the block count. Um, and the great thing is, if your visa should got rejected there's money back guarantee, which means you will receive all the money you transfer to us back. Um, of course, we are super fast, which means uh, you will receive the opening confirmation within 24 hours. Uh, currently, we are um, improving our so-called OCR technology to make the process even faster, um, but in general, uh, 24 hours. But you will also find some nice uh, reviews on Barat's page uh, that uh, mm. some customers yeah, had um, the lucky situation that uh, the opening process was much, much faster. Yeah. Um, to receive the money, you need a current account. Um, we are supporting you with this. Um, we are working with uh, many banks here in Germany, just uh, to say a few of them. Uh, it's N26, Commerzbank, Sparka, so you can also apply uh, via Muniz from abroad already. Um, and the good thing is, if you do this with us, we will have the IBAN in our system already to make the process of the activation much faster. Um, then you will also receive a health insurance. Um, here we are working with Techniker Krankenkasse. 
Techniker Krankenkasse got awarded as the best health insurance provider for internationals several times now. Um, myself is also using um, Techniker Krankenkasse, so uh, this is highly recommended from our mm -hmm. side. Um, and if you need to go to a doctor or to the hospital or anything else, you just show your um, European health insurance card, which you will receive from uh, Techniker Krankenkasse. That's it. You do not have to pay in advance. Super easy process. Mm. And then for your visa, you will also need to set up a so-called incoming insurance. And with us in the value package, this incoming insurance would be free for 92 days. Not from the signing day, no, from the arrival day. Which means you can use the insurance 92 days without paying any cent. Um, afterwards, it would cost you 75 cents. But in general, you will take it for 10, 15 days maybe. Mm. Then... You will activate your Technica Krankenkasse Public Health Insurance and we cancel this incoming insurance for free for you. So no additional costs. You will also save a few euros here in Germany. And as a little gift, you will also receive the IC card. It's an international student identity card where you have um, many benefits. You can check the page uh, of, of ISIC. It's quite, quite nice. What does it mean for you at the end? Yeah. For everything you need for your visa, you will pay 60 euro plus monthly premium of Technica Krankenkasse of 105 euro 80. That's it. You can apply here. Um, you have to type in your personal data. Um, we will verify your um, information. You will receive the information that everything is done. You can transfer the money. That's it. All the documents are in your login portal uh, or in the user portal uh, where you have an individual password for. That's it. Mm. That sounds super easy. Um, and Dom, so like we already talked about and some people are asking like uh, about the story of like 853, 861 and 863. Like of course, like a lot of things changed uh, recently and um, for most of the people, who, you should just like keep an eye out on the German missions websites in different countries. And on the basis of that, you can very easily calculate the cost on Expatrio's uh, value packet portal and then you can like also do the relevant payment afterwards exactly we are also in contact with the embassy uh, for example in Delhi um, and, and just to clarify why uh, there is a different and um, but I said if you if you already block uh, 863 euro uh, everything will be fine and you won't face any issues uh, regarding the visa application process I actually have a very cool comment uh, to share Shreyansh uh, Shresh Panchal is saying just open blocked account and value package and got confirmation within two days. Process was super easy. Nice. Congrats. Yes. <laughs> perfect. Okay. Um, then for you it's uh, also super important to know and to understand how you will activate afterwards. Uh, and this is the session we are talking about today. Um, how you can activate your blocked account. But this I will quickly mm. um, show and change my, um, my my window here. So we have a super nice um, expression how it works. Um, if you just type in how do I activate um, my blocked account in our FAQ section, you will um, find this page and there's everything explained. As you can see, it's uh, updated one day ago, so it's super uh, on day and um, there you will find uh, many, many information. So first, uh, what I already said, um, you need a current bank account. In Germany, it's also called Girokonto or bank account. Um, you will also find a lot of banks here in Germany. So to make it a bit easier for you, um, we made a comparison about current bank accounts um, where you also can easily apply for. So um, you will see, for example, N26. You will see uh, Muniz Classic. You will see um, the Commerzbank Startkonto, which is uh, for students uh, from ING, the Girokonto Studenten, so which is also um, yeah more or less tailor made for students. Um, and there's also so called Sparkas, the Girokonto um, for uh, for students. Um, Price and this is super important. There are no hidden fees for you. Um, this uh, these accounts are completely for free. What you will receive is um, a credit card or so-called Mastercard. Uh, with ING, you will also receive a visa. Here at Sparkasse, nothing. You can compare everything. 
um, also how many times you can withdraw money um, and uh, what they would charge you afterwards um, because as everyone knows this is also yeah, a new field banks can uh, can earn some money uh, charging additional fees uh, when you when you try to uh, withdraw money from ATM um, very important um, that uh, you will also have support, um, English support if, if necessary. For example, N26 and Muniz are offering this. Metzbank, ENG, uh, Sparkas, maybe not, but I'm pretty sure if you go to a branch there, they will also help you quite easily. Mm. Um, yeah, so many information are given here and uh, you can easily apply for, for um, each account. You will find some more information about the banks. Um, so the first thing, is activate and apply for a current bank account because this is important that we can transfer the money um, from the blocked account to your bank account and you will also use and need this uh, to pay for the insurance um, pay for the rent and uh, things like this mm. Mm. the second um, important thing is that you um, send us your German address and uh, the good thing is you do not have to send it to us you can easily log in in the portal, and this is what I already showed you and told you. Um, and here you can upload everything by yourself. So um, you do not send any emails to us. You can everything um, do inside the uh, user portal, um, where you also can download all the products, all the informations. Um, so quite easy to use and really easy to handle. Um, so as soon as you have your address, please uh, upload everything here in the portal because we will also let uh, the Technica customer know we need, uh, we let Dr. Walter know because they will also ask you uh, for exactly the same question uh, to activate their products. Um, what do we need from you is if you are able to make already an unmelding in Germany, so it's uh, the registration certificate, um, you can do it. Um, sometimes in Berlin or other bigger cities, uh, you need to wait um, a few days, sometimes weeks, to um, make an appointment. Um, in those cases, you can also send us your rental contract or the landlord confirmation, so so-called Wohnungsgeberbescheinigung. Why we are doing this? to fasten the process that you will receive the money because it doesn't make sense if you wait a few weeks uh, for registration appointment and do not have access to the money. This is why we also accept rental contract and landlord confirmation. Uh, again, mm -hmm. to make your process as easy and fast as possible. Then, of course, we also need your visa. Um, so if you already have the visa, please upload it here. Um, this is also necessary for us because we want to make sure that you are in Germany and that you will use this account um, for your uh, stay here in Germany. Um, how does it work? Um, I will quickly show you because here it is super easy explained. You will click on the blocked account um, and then there will be a button activate. If you click this, uh, the next um, step you will do is that you provide us the necessary information yeah. and that you always can click the upload documents here. If you have the bank document, you can just click upload yeah, and then you can save it and then it's in our system. As soon all of the information are in our system, we will receive an information, we will double check everything, uh, we will confirm and if everything is done, yeah, we can activate your account and you will receive the money within one or two days uh, from the day of the activation. Um, here you will find more information what we need uh, and again here just click the activate button. Um, yeah, that's basically all in our um, in our uh, tool how to activate the, the blocked account. Mm -hmm. um, what you also can see here, if you should just apply for the health insurance, yeah, you will do the same process. Um, if you need to change other personal data, for example, yeah, you can easily do it. If you have your German phone number, change it here. Um, if um, you change your German address, as I said, you can do it also here. Um, maybe you will identify or uh, say, hey, I changed my university because you uh, have more uh, than one university who accepted you. You can also easily change it here. Um, and, of course, you can also change uh, the dates of your uh, study program, uh, when it will start, when you will arrive in Germany. So everything is super easy to handle for you um, and you do not have to send us any email to do it. You can everything do by yourself. Mm -hmm. um, 
Then, um, also important, the document section. Um, this is where you will find all the necessary downloads uh, you will you will need. And here for the blocked account, once you transferred the money, you will also see the confirmation uh, which you need for your uh, embassy appointment. Yeah, you can easily download it here. That's it. Um, same for the health insurance. Here, the notification for the university, incoming insurance, everything is here. Um, so you can easily download it and that's it. Um, yeah, and then um, there's also a thing I would like to show you. Um, we also have a so-called um, refer friends section. So every one of you, uh, once you are in our system, will receive um, a refer friends link uh, or a code which you can um, send to your friends, um, to our family and to everyone else who will come to Germany and who also need some of our products. Um, and the nice thing is share the code and you will earn 10 euro for any friend who's activating one of our products like the block account or the health insurance. Mm. Yeah, that's it about the refer friend sections. Quite cool, I guess. Yes. Most major companies have it and it's super nice that like, you know, you have it now too. And uh, Dom, quick question. So like somebody's asking, when is the expatriate jobs uh, thing going live? Yeah, so um, we are, we are currently testing um, to, to make it really nice for you. Um, we are yeah, just in the, in the beta version um, to understand what we, what we need. Um, I guess um, in Q4, which started or we, which will start uh, in, in the next days, um, we will work on this and Guys, as soon as this uh, expatriate jobs will be live, um, I'm pretty sure Barat and I will inform you and we will show you how you can use it. Yes, absolutely. Um, and Dom, um, about the current accounts uh, section that we were like talking about previously, um, Samart is asking like, what makes more sense to like activate the current account uh, before they come to Germany or like after they are here? So um, it's it's completely up to you. So I said you can apply now. Um, you can also do it once you are here in Germany. Um, what I can what I can say uh, the banks we are offering are also um, analyzed by our um, customer base, and uh, we will just tell you um, which one you should apply for to have super easy process and mm -hmm. super fast process. Yes, absolutely. And I think I have some things to add here. So guys, um, for example, with N26 or something, you would definitely need a German like address, right? So like that means you would be able to open the current account like once you're here. Uh, and with N26, the um, story with the Indian um, passport is that you need to have the residence card. So like the residence card, of course, you get a bit later. So then you can take a look at other options that like Expatrio has already shown in the current account section. So it could be Commerzbank. Um, could be Sparkasse or like, you know, Moniz, where you can like open the bank account from anywhere. So like these could be also some very interesting options, just so you know, because with Indian passports, you always have some kind of like issues uh, involved. And uh, previously N26 didn't use, used to accept Indian passports at all. But then afterwards, uh, I think recently only, like they started accepting Indian passports. And now a lot of students use it once they have their residence permit. But like going to Auslinders Behörde and then applying for the residence permit also like takes some time. So you can see like meanwhile um, which one you want to apply for. Like so far like Moniz had a very uh, nice service too. So you know that could be also one option. Okay um, and Sh uh, Shresh Panchal is asking so how will the first disbursement of blocked account will be done? Do we need to be in Germany since we will not have a German address till December? So maybe, uh, you know, Dom, in case like uh, they do not get a rental contract or something like what, what do you think, uh, what should the students do? Yeah, so um, if, if uh, you do not receive one of those information um, we, we are asking for, please also get in contact with our uh, customer service team. So if you can provide um, any other um, yeah, option that you are here in Germany, that you are maybe living in a hotel or using Airbnb, whatever. Um, maybe there is a way that we already can activate. Um, but as I said, get in contact with the team. Um, in most of our um, questions, people ask those uh, things. We will find also a solution. Mm. 
Yeah, but there's also one hint from my side, and um, I already uh, discussed this several times with Barat. Make sure that you also have some cash with you. Um, exactly for those situations, um, having um, 1,000 euro, if you're able to do it, uh, cash with you, super important. Yeah, you never know, like once you come here, like one um, process after the next, like they start piling up and then sometimes like um, things just like completely uh, go out of uh, control. So Alien Geek is saying, um, he's from Sudan and he's saying, I'm really glad I chose Expatrio over Fintiba. Hashtag Team Expatrio. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks. Yeah, so I mean, this is like what we want and like the entire uh, goal of this like webinar series was that like, you know, we are showing up every single month in front of you so that like whenever you have any kind of questions, you ask us. Of course, like, you know, blocked account and stuff like might not be the fanciest topics, but I know for many of you who are coming here, they are important topics and something that you have to get right. So um, it, it's it's nice that you're joining in, that you're like learning more about it. And that's why, like, you know, we are here. That's why, like, uh, Dom is taking out the time to, like, just explain to you everything. So that once you're here, like, at least everything uh, goes as smoothly as possible. About the story of the rental contract, like, if I could add, um, you do not, like, like, necessarily always need a rental con contract. Like Dom said, like, you can have this uh, Wohnungsgeberbestätigung or uh, something similar. So as long as, like, you know, the landlord signs in that, yes, on this and this date, these people moved into the apartment and with that you can do your city registration so that is like already a, a good enough thing and then you can like move ahead with that so like don't worry like every single time that yes like you know maybe i cannot get the rental contract all right it's 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 better that you have it but if you don't have it the wohnungsgeber bestätigung where you have the signature of the landlord that is important once you have that you can do the city registration and all of the current accounts and everything you can open exactly Perfect. Um, now we have, so Vishwas is saying, uh, do you recommend having a Forex card to when you are traveling? I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know if you, if you really, um, if you really need it, um, but you've made the experience also. Yeah. I don't know what, what would you say? Right. So, uh, I, I personally, am a huge fan of diversification. So I think like you have to do that when you're investing and also like when you're just like doing other things in life. Uh, I like generally prefer like always having uh, 500 euros um, uh, as cash and like, you know, 500 euros in the Forex card or like you can do something different. Maybe if you know you have to do some kind of deposit and it is like 800 euros or something. So then you can do something like this that you have like 1000 euros in cash, but like then keep another like 200, 300 euros whatsoever, like in a Forex card. So till the time like the blocked this your um, current accounts you know um, does not open okay and Dom uh, so for people who want to switch from uh, Moniz to N26 after some time uh, is it easily doable over expatrio portal or mm, yeah you have to apply again then um, but in general um, it's it's um yeah, easy to to um, tell the bank. Okay, I won't um, I won't use my my account anymore because um, it's not like the health insurance, for example. There's a cancellation period, uh, so you have um, a period um, you have to stay. Uh, currently, it's um, it's eighteen months. Um, of course, if you leave the country, um, you can cancel it. So don't worry. So if you go and leave uh, Germany after six months, after twelve months, um, you do not have to pay this additional time. Um, but in general, to say, okay, um, I would like to change my health insurance, um, you have to wait um, 18 months. After 15 months, you can cancel because uh, there's a cancellation period of three months, and then you can do it. Um, with banks, this is not given. Um, so you can, um, you can easily uh, switch the banks. You just have to make sure, if you should do it, to inform us uh, that you have a new IBAN. Uh, you can upload this in our system. Um, because if not, we would transfer the money to the given information and uh, then you maybe will wonder why you did not receive the money uh, because we are sending uh, to, the, to the information you gave us in the very beginning. So if you should do it, please also update everything in our portal. Mm. Yeah, and I think like I can also like uh, tell you guys, um, I think it is like, of course, like very important because like what happens in Germany every single time, like some kind of transaction if it is supposed to happen and it if it doesn't happen then like some kind of like extra charges 
uh, come on top, like from the banks. So like when I was at Fox Bank, and there was like supposed to be some transaction, it didn't work out, and like you know I, they would charge me like ten euros or something, which is of course painful. So like rather be careful, like already like you know update these things as soon as um, you are having your new bank account or whatsoever and like you can also do it very quickly like just by um, uploading the information on the portal I think huh you can just update it there right that's that's good now we have another question uh, in which situation should a student uh, switch from Moniz to an alternative <laughs> I don't know um, maybe if you if you don't like uh, the app or I don't know uh, mm. but in general um, everything is working quite easy, and um, if you if you um, apply for for one of the banks, you can easily stay there. So we uh, really recommend your things uh, we we trust in, and um, you can you can um, you can apply. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, like, I think I can also like uh, talk something about it because like we are talking about like now the current accounts and like um, how do you uh, activate and like what kind of banks you should like get the money in. So the thing with, for example, N26, I'm using N26 like for almost a year now. Um, the issue starts like when you have the free plan and in the free plan, like you do not get the zero card. And so like, so many of these Turkish stores or Indian stores, like they, they don't even like accept the master card. And they're like, no, we're not going to take it because it takes uh, charges extra. I think 2.9% plus 30 cents. Yeah, that's the charge like generally uh, credit cards have. So they don't want it. Like once I was like with my wife to uh, a restaurant and it was an Arabic restaurant and boy, like they did not let me use my MasterCard. They were like, no, open up, <laughs> open up the VPay card from uh, Fox Bank and like, you know, you pay with that. So in those kind of scenarios, you can like, you know, ask N26 to like uh, give you a Maestro card because that is also um, working in these kind of scenarios. So just the thing that you also like, you know, should keep in mind when you are uh, thinking about choosing a bank. In general, choose choose a bank in the starting. Maybe if you find a nice like promotional offer whatsoever, um, and and the marketing team of that department of that bank did a very nice job, make the jump. But otherwise, like it is not always that necessary. Yeah, and as said, we we recommend the banks um, most of our customer base is also using. So you can you can fully trust in this because I guess um, your your Indian friends, um, yeah already applied for it and made their experience and um, yeah you can use it for sure yeah perfect uh, Dom Rahul is asking can I block my money now and activate my account after six months when I will travel yes you can do it perfect um, and then do we have uh, any updates about the blocked account amount from India yeah, as I said in the very beginning, so we are um, we are in contact with the embassy, um, but till now um, there are no proper information. And um, if you check also the uh, the page of the federal, federal federal foreign office currently, they are still asking for eight hundred fifty three euro. Um, if you go to Berlin, for example, they will already start asking for eight hundred sixty one euro. So. Um, this experience we made also last year already. Um, there is kind of a misunderstanding. The good thing is, if we're just talking about this um, less than 100 euro, we can always use um, the amount of the buffer for this. So don't worry, as I said, um, there is enough money in your account um, to to um, to open the block account on a quite easy way, which means um, 800 um, yeah. 53 to 860, 61, it's just 8 euros, um, so there would be enough money in the buffer. If you apply from now, just uh, make sure that you uh, take 863. As I said, it is still your money, you will, you will receive it back. So if you transfer um, 8, 8 euro or 10 euro less, maybe you have to retransfer. Um, so if it's not a problem for you, just make sure that you transfer the uh, 863 and then it's easy to do. Perfect. Um, now, Dom, uh, Nikesh is asking uh, something super interesting. He's saying, okay, just wanted to ask if I can book my accommodation right from my home country from the expatriate living service. Uh, also, how reliable is it? 
Um, yeah, so you can you can get in contact with those um, those providers already. Um, so as you can see, we are working, for example, with the student hotel and so on. Um, yeah, you can you can get in contact with them. Sure. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. um, now, Shreyash is asking which card provider did you mention, which is universally accepted? So, Maestro is not universally accepted, but uh, it is like the modern version of the Giro card that you have right now. So that's what the thing. That's the thing that you can um, request N26 for. You know, like otherwise you just have the debit Mastercard, and in in many places it might not work. So the good thing is you will also have in 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 more or less all of those uh, banks you will have um, you will have an app, and as you know, um, more and more restaurants and and um, yeah, supermarkets and so on are uh, able to use uh, this pay per phone. Um, so it's also not a problem. Yeah, exactly. But uh, Dom, so like, what would you say right now? Because I think people always ask about this question too. Like, they see like in German documentaries that like Germany still heavily relies on cash, and like in some places you just absolutely need it. So, um, do you think like Germany has like made some kind of shift from like maybe the older times? I guess Corona helped a bit. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, for example, I'm also a bit old school using using cash money, um, but, uh, yeah, in the last in the last six six months now, I also changed my behavior. Um, so, um, I do not have pocket money with me, of course, maybe 20 euro, uh, because sometimes you really need it, um, but also the restaurants and so on um, switch from this cash uh, payment to um, to um, to credit card, to banking card, whatever. So, um, yeah, we we are we are um, seeing a change. I would say. Mm -hmm. um, a weird question: uh, Is there any option to get block account without investing? Is there any option you can avoid block account? Uh, so um, the the options for like avoiding blocked account is only if you have some kind of relatives or some kind of known people in Germany which can give you a Verpflichtungserklärung, which is um, a, a document like you know which is given out by the Ausländerbehörde. They have to go there, it costs some money, and then afterwards they pretty much like take the uh, obligation that like when you come to Germany like you have to uh, that they will take care of you. And for most of the students like that is not very, like really. Um, a possibility so like that's why like you essentially have to show a blocked account when you're actually moving to Germany right perfect um, it's like whatever kind of like German mission is responsible for your location take a look at the website there again and like then make the final decision of course for most of the places it's 861 like even when uh, my intern she was like extending her um, visa like even the Auslanders behind her here said like 861 euros but in India, like, if you see the PDF, it's, like, 863 euros. And if the Indian, like, you know, German missions say that, so, like, you have to just, like, follow it. You don't really have an option there. Yeah, and as said, it's still your money, so no one will take it. Um, you will just receive two euros more uh, per, per month back on your, on your current account. Mm. Yes. And, Dom, so, um, if, if we talk about budgeting, right? So, because, like, of course, like, blocked account money comes. So... What would you say should be like um, more important for students? Like, do you think like they should think about like living their life as much as they can, you know, because they're in Germany, or should they be like more frugal? Like, what what kind of person? Uh, so, like, what would have been your spending habits if you would be a student coming to Germany? Uh, this is a long time ago, as as I was a student. Um, this is this is uh, this is a tough question. This is um, if you if you uh, ask uh, people who are interested in football if you like Real Madrid or uh, Barcelona. Mm -hmm. So um, <laughs> they, they they won't be a right information for everyone. Yeah. Um, so I would say, and um, and this is why they also increased this uh, this amount in the last uh, in the last year uh, from from this seven hundred twenty up to eight hundred fifty three because. You will have cities uh, which are which are more expensive, and um, of course you should enjoy your life. So uh, as I said, I studied also abroad, and um, for me it was also super important to to learn about the country, um, to travel a bit, and and for this you need money. Um, the good thing is with your visa, um, you are also able to work, 
um, part time. Um, so if you need money, you can also do this um, and and spend a bit more. Um, there's also a video about our chat. Um, how you can survive with less than 853 euro. Um, so asset um it's it's your personal decision uh, what you what you prefer how you feel really good um, how much money you are able to spend at the end um this is a question just you can answer yourself yeah i think you you said it right dom i think like it really like depends on the personality for sure um i for example like i, I i'm a very uh, cheap person in the sense that when i know that uh, i will have to like maybe have some kind of like question marks hanging over my head in the next month like I, I tend to like then then just go into like extreme saving mode and think about let's say like if I would be a student and so I was a student and when I was like you know studying and stuff I like kind of like really saved on everything and I was like you know uh, let me try to do it in a way that like I do not have to like maybe do a part-time job but I can like then focus more on my studies and get a good grade afterwards because uh, when like people are going into the job market, like so many employers are like still uh, taking a look at what the final grade of your studies have been. So in, in those kind of scenarios, I think like, you know, as a student, like they're both like spectrums, like one could be like, yes, you know, I want to live my life and stuff like that. Um, what I essentially did was like, I was just saving everything. I was like, once I like start earning nice money, like once the studies is done, boy, that is my time to like enjoy life. So yeah. But I guess in general, this 850, uh, sorry, 863 um, should be should be fine to, yeah. uh, to to live here in Germany. This is why they're asking this, and this is also the the maximum for people who will receive um, um, governmental support here in Germany. So uh, called BAföG, uh, they are also receiving this amount of money. Yeah, yeah, of course, um, and I think another very interesting thing is that many times you can like save some decent amount of money especially when you're living in some like smaller villages and stuff uh chemnitz for example a lot of indian students go to tu chemnitz and they are like um just saying like you know in chemnitz like we just essentially like do not have much like they're like a, a, a very small state like less businesses and things like that and one student like recently told me that he was just living there for 140 euros or even 120 euros per month uh in rent now it's like, give me that place. I also want to move there. Um, so like you, you can have like cities like that. And like, I think then you can have a cities like Munich where you, even as a student are paying somewhere like 350 euros to 400 euros. Um, even when you're like, you know, living in a Vega or something. So yeah. I think, yes, like, um, city like definitely depends. And also like this recent increase of like, you know, 720 to like now 863, that would like just essentially help you towards the end to like not be so stressed about not having enough money. So of course in the starting it feels like a very heavy burden now like that you have to I don't know like transfer like almost like 2000 euros more or something. But like if you think about it like this gives you a sense of financial security like when you're in Germany and you can just like fo focus more on your studies. Yeah and as said you you um Please don't forget, this is still your money. Yeah. Uh, and at the end, you can decide what you will do with this. If you say, hey, 720 euro would be totally fine for me, yeah, save the rest of the money. Um, and you will receive again 863. Save uh, what you do not um, spend, not a problem at all. Yes, perfect. Uh, Dom, um, one guy is asking, is there a particular uh, not so expensive health insurance that you recommend? Um, so um, what we what we do is we are we are um, working with the with the best for you. So um, and as said, Technica Krankenkasse is uh, not only awarded as um, as the best health insurance for international um, students uh, by Focus Money. Um, it's also super cheap. Um, of course, maybe you will find something which is which is a bit cheaper. It could be a kind of, a kind of a company insurance or whatever. Um, uh, or where you are not able to apply for because you are not in the uh, in the right district. Um, we have technical integration, and you should also see all the benefits we are offering with this. Um, that uh, you do not have to walk into an office. Um, you will spend. Um, you will save a lot of time, and um, you can compare. Uh, also on our page, you will find a page where you can compare uh, the providers. Um, what you will figure out that TK is one of the cheapest too. Yeah. 
Um, and there was another question. I'll quickly take it up. So um, somebody is saying that there is no reference uh, field when transferring money via Western Union. Is it fine to make the payment without the reference ID? Um, you should always make sure that we uh, that your name and and the uh, the family name is uh, included. And um, to make it super safe, just send us um, the the uh, transfer receipt. Um, if there's an issue that we can't find the money, uh, then it's um, then we can make it sure. But if you transfer via uh, Western Union, for example, you will transfer to um, the individual IBAN um, in your name, so this should be uh, should be right. Um, the money should receive our account uh, or your blocked account, your personal blocked account. But as I said, just in case, if there's um, an issue or you feel ah this is maybe um, taking too long, um, yeah, send us proactively uh, the the information, then it's fine. Mm -hmm. um. Now, Dom Vishwas is asking, I had enrolled online for winter semester at TUM on 1st September, but my classes start from November 2nd. Will I have mm -hmm. to pay the health insurance for September and October also? Yeah, this is a general question, and um, a few weeks ago, we already made a video about this. So if um, the enrollment will be the 1st of uh, or the 2nd of November, um, and this is written on your certificate of uh, certificate of enrollment. Then you do not have to pay. Uh, then you will start paying from the beginning of the date on your enrollment. Um, if you are coming current uh, or during the semester, so let's say you will arrive in beginning of January, for example, then it could be that you have to pay back um, the 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 uh, the two months uh, December and November because you already activated your account. Um, this is a current situation, and it's not uh, our idea or TK's idea. Uh, this is a general um, yeah, rule uh, all the insurance providers need to follow. Does it make sense? I would say from the day you are in Germany and you are using the insurance, from this day you should pay. Um, but uh, to answer your question again, um, if your date in the certificate of enrollment is the 2nd um, of November, you will pay from, from this day. Yeah, perfect. Um, actually, Dom, this is a, a rather a business idea suggestion or something. Rahul is saying, is Expatrio working with a kind of bank which can provide student loan for blocked account process? It would ease out our process. Um, yeah, you can make an introduction uh, to your to to the bank, and uh, we can we can talk about this. Um, so, if this makes, honestly yeah. speaking, your life in India much easier. Um, we can we can we can figure it out if this is um, if this is interesting. Um, yeah. Currently, uh, the answer is no. Yeah. Yeah, but I think that's that's definitely interesting, Dom. I think um, we should have a pin on it. But uh, so we have another interesting one. Zil Goria is saying, is there any limit of blocked account expiration if the money isn't loaded into the account? Um, so if I if I understand right, so if you do not activate the account within a period, um, if we uh, send it back to you. So currently we say, because no one knows uh, regarding Corona, if um, if you are able to, uh, to 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 come to Germany, um, currently it's like uh, this that we um, store the money for for twelve months for you. Um, and then we will get in contact. Maybe in the future we will change this um, a bit, but before sending the money to you, we will let you know and we will ask you, hey, are you planning to come to Germany or uh, do you think this is maybe just an account where you can store money um, because uh, this won't work, uh, but um, if you can um, explain, hey, my visa got cancelled and whatever and it doesn't make sense to transfer money back and forth and back and forth because um, you have always to pay for it, um, please let us know. But uh, in the in the meantime, twelve months are for free. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, I think like what I understood was also like maybe uh, he's also asking like if I open the blocked account only and I do not like transfer the money. So how long is that thing valid? Yeah. Um, there's there's currently no specific rule in our system. Um, we we do several times um, a check. Okay, who's who is. Um, who will send the money um, 
after let's say maybe six months you will you will receive an email hey um you um you applied for the block account are you planning to transfer the money um but uh, so currently it's it's there's there's nothing happened without any information that we for example will close it or something like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, makes sense. Um, Nikesh is saying, uh, recently Expatri asked me to update my monthly disbursement from 853 euros when deposited in March to 863 euros um, in September 2020 and got my Spia Wanted to ask, do I need to deposit some extra amount to make it last, to, to make it last 12 months? Um... In this specific case, uh, I would say get get quickly in contact with uh, with our customer service team because I don't know how much money you transferred already, um, mm -hmm. how much is in the account. Um, if um, the buffer uh, fits this um, the, the the difference, it's not a problem. Other than that, you um, you need to transfer a um, few euro. Yeah. Okay. Um, Tarun Singh is saying, "Do we need to use Expatrio? Is this an official service provider?" So, like. Of course, like there are multiple different options that you have, but like in our community, we are using Expatrio because we have like such close contact with them. And anytime you have any kind of questions, we cannot take responsibility of you going with like other blocked account providers and like, you know, getting you in touch with them. But at least like we can make sure that like when you have questions whatsoever, we are having these like webinars and you can just like come here and like ask them and like get in touch with us. So like that's like more transparent and the service is really nice and most of the students have had good experience so far. So, um, you know, you can definitely uh, take a look at that. Yeah, and if you compare the market, um, you will also identify that the offer we are giving you is, um, is super cheap um, and we are working with the best for you. Yeah. Perfect. So, I think um, that wraps up the questions. We are not receiving any more questions. I think we covered everything, which is very nice. Um, Dom, thank you so much for joining in. It was very nice that you like took us through the entire thing again and like had some fun discussions here and there too in the middle. Um, then I think we see each other again in the next webinar next month. Uh, do you have like uh, any uh, words that you want to share? Yeah, first, uh, thanks everyone for, for being part of this. Um, without you, it would be super boring because then Bart and I would just uh, talk to each other. <laughs> uh, so your questions are uh, super important for us also to know what you really need and um, how we can um, improve the service. Um, secondly, I hope everyone of you is, uh, is safe, uh, family is healthy, and um, yeah, I hope uh, we will see us here in Germany that uh, you will find a way to come. Um, yeah, stay safe and um, looking forward to see everyone here. Perfect. Thank you so much, Dom, for joining in. Thank you so much, guys, and we'll see you the next time. Bye-bye. See you, bye.